For the longest time, there's been a dream in the collaboration space to have an easy button. Everybody remembers Staples, the easy button, press the button, and whatever it is you need would magically appear. For unified communications, video conferencing, and collaboration, it's been a dream and it's been unachievable up to this point. There always seemed to be a roadblock, too many requirements, too much hardware. You couldn't possibly bring that room system, that integrated smart room that you spent tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars in to integrate with a simple uh, mobile-based video conferencing solution. And up to this point, it really has been more of a dream than a reality. However, this past week, after coming back from the Cisco Spark launch event, where Cisco launched the Spark board, I do wanna say that it is looking like that dream is becoming a reality very quickly. When senior VP of collaboration for all of Cisco, Rowan Trollope came out on stage, he rolled out a wheelbarrow. And it was a really kind of funny moment because if you've been around integration in the audio video unified communication space, you know how much equipment has been required to make a room smart. He takes the wheelbarrow and he basically it's full. It's got like TVs and wires and mounts and it has interfaces and all kinds of boxes, black boxes and control systems and touch panels and all these things that are required to make the room work. And basically what he does, he takes the wheelbarrow out and just pff, turns it on its side and dumps everything across the stage. And everyone in the room got a really good laugh out of this. And this is because if you've been in this, in this business, you know how true it is. But the spark board, which is basically just a 55 or 70 inch, all in one integrated service subscription, just something you pay for monthly, has all of the UC built into it, and it integrates seamlessly with mobile devices, with tablets, with desktop, with Mac and iOS and Android and Microsoft, and whatever you're using, it works. And this has been what we're waiting for, the ability to walk into a room, add people into a conversation, be able to get on video with them, share a screen, cross collaborate, and then also have people in from wherever they are on a mobile device or on their desktop, or on a phone, be able to join the call seamlessly. And that's the easy button. So it was really interesting this week to see what Cisco's been doing. Now Spark for a long time has sort of made a name for itself competing with the uh, up and coming Slack. And now Microsoft Teams there in, in, uh, in Washington coming out with their solution. However, the chat part, the pervasive chat and the pervasive uh, messaging, it is popular, but it doesn't encompass all the way that companies need to communicate. You need to get face to face. You need to be able to get on voice. And we've seen that in our apps on our phone, like Facebook, it works and WhatsApp, you can get on video, but in our enterprise collaboration solutions, it really hasn't worked the way it's supposed to yet. And that's why I was super encouraged. My first impression is not only does the spark board a really good looking device as it's sort of modeled in my eyes after the iOS in terms of its seamless touch panel. Even the shape and the design gave me the feeling of a new iPhone 7, but it also operates so simply. You don't need anyone with any real video or audio visual knowledge to be in the room to make it work. And I think that's the future. I think they've really hit two things on the head. One, any device, which again, has been a dream, but hasn't been accomplished. And that includes the room device, which, a lot of people had hit the head on the mobile but hadn't made a room that works easily. And then I think that, you know, the second thing is the mixing together of the messaging and the more new media style communication that a lot of uh, people enjoy, but also with that face-to-face -face voice and instant collaboration that's much more like a meeting space. And so I'm very, very encouraged. And my first impression is I think Cisco and Spark is on a really, really good track. And if this subscription works, it's as seamless as they say, and I have no reason to believe it won't be, they are going to have a very, very strong position in the collaboration room and mobile seamless enterprise space. So we will see. I, I give Cisco a lot, uh, two thumbs up for what they did. I'm looking forward to seeing what it does and what it becomes and how it competes with Microsoft Teams and the Surface Hub. And of course, how other players like Slack uh, continue to impact the business, but the release was definitely strong. Um, good start and they're moving forward. And that easy button is one step closer to being accomplished for all of you whom like me have been waiting in the space to find something that just works. <music>